The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. You know you're giving them the best. Q Radio. Q Radio. Welcome with me, Sharon Jennings. Coming up, we find out about the health risks to your pets from passive smoking. We also discover about the little rescue dog's experience when she was in the final at Crufts. Pets Corner. Nowadays, most of us are aware of the effects of passive smoking to our family and friends around us, but do we ever consider the effect we're having on our animals? Well, joining me now is Val Maguire from the PDSA. She's a senior vet. So what are the dangers of smoking around our animals? Well, um, unfortunately, it is very similar to um, the kind of effects that we ourselves suffer. Prolonged exposure to smoking can cause chronic breathing difficulties or even cancer in the dogs and cats as well as people. We're aware of it to the extent where there's new legislation coming in where you you can't now smoke in a car with children. Obviously, smoking is a huge addiction, so, you know, for many people, stopping is not an option. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is very, very difficult if you are a smoker. However, when we start to think about the effects that our smoking has on our children and if we don't have children on um, our kind of little dogs and cats sometimes can be incentive you know to try to give up and if you think of cats if they live in a smoker's home they're twice as likely to kind of develop in some forms of feline cancer because of their grooming habits so if you think the smoke in the air lands on the coat of the animal and that unfortunately will probably lead you know to many kind of forms of cancer so one of the best things to do if you really can't kick the habit straight away is to try to smoke outdoors and the second thing is that that perhaps isn't possible to make sure that you're smoking in a room the cats and dogs can be allowed you know to go into um, and to make sure so you know that the window would be open and then there's also the possibility of maybe trying kind of smoking devices which is probably safer so you know the e-cigarette because Val I mean it must be very distressing to think that we might have been harming our animals without kind of an awareness really I've been a vet now for about 23 24 years and I've worked in various parts of the UK and some areas there would be more heavy smokers than others we definitely saw those kind of effects even animals coming in to be seen sometimes smell very heavily of smoke and that sort of always causes um, me to be slightly worried you know for the animal. You were saying earlier there Val which is distressing even to listen to because I think again it's something that people wouldn't think of being on their coat and then they're licking and grooming themselves and ingesting it that way is again quite distressing. Yes, it is. If you think of cats, they are, you know, by nature very clean animals. Mm-hmm. And it's a shame to think that in grooming themselves and cleaning themselves, they are, you know, kind of taking in that poison. Um, dogs and cats are very innocent um, creatures. They are in the room because we have put them in the room. So it's very simple to, if we're not going to save ourselves, you know, to save our pets. The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. Thursday's Pets Trivia. Did you know that 58% of people include their pets in family and holiday portraits? For more facts, features and competitions, why not like Brandy Dog Food on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Brandy Dog Food. Pets Corner. Not very long ago, we told you the story of the little dog Lola who was found wandering the streets of Antrim, abandoned and in very poor condition. The lovely Graham family adopted her and she ended up winning the child's best friend competition at Scruffs, which led her to appearing last week in the final at Croft. And I'm joined by Amy Graham, who is the child that Lola chose to be her best friend. You're very welcome, Amy. Hello. So, Amy, you were in Crofts last week and I saw you and Lola looking very beautiful on the television. What was your experience like at Crofts? Well, I really enjoyed it, but at the same time I was quite nervous. But looking at Lola, I was calm. Got used to it after a while. Lola looked absolutely calm, as if she was meant to be there. She was more calm than I ever was. She just took it in her stride. Well, Amy, I think Lola was very, very lucky the day that you came to the sanctuary and chose her. Yeah, she was. It's the people that abandoned her now, saw her on TV and saw where she's been. They, they'd be kind of upset and kind of angry with themselves, like throwing her out and now look where she is. Like, it's amazing. Well, I'm glad those people don't have her anymore, Amy. I'm glad you do. <laughs> Thank you. And if you'd like to see pictures of Lola at Crofts, then visit Facebook page Mr. Paws. And also for further information about passive smoking around your animals, you can visit the PDSA website. The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family.